Hey guys, it's PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a wallpaper like this one with a cool smoky effect in the background. So as you see here in the background of this wallpaper, I have a smoky-like uh, background, as in it's got these smoky-looking brush strokes. So I'm going to show you how to make a wallpaper like this inside of Adobe Photoshop. You can do this inside Adobe Photoshop version CS3, version CS4, or any other version, but I know for positive it works with version CS4, and that is the version I'm going to be demonstrating it to you in. So, But anyway, before you go ahead and make this wallpaper, you're going to need to download some brushes. So download the real smoke brushes, which you can download from this link, which which I'll post in the video's description. Just go down here, click download, and then install the brushes into Photoshop. So first what we want to do is open Photoshop, and I'm going to go up to File and create a new document. I'm going to name it uh, Smoke Smoke Neon 1. And I'm going to make the width and the height my screen resolution, and click OK and I'm gonna make sure it's at a black background for me so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go down and create a new layer and then I'm gonna go in my brush tool and now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go down and select my smoke brushes which are down here at the bottom but before you do anything you have to install the smoke brushes so once you download them go up to this little arrow here then go to load brushes and then just find the real smoke brushes wherever you saved them double click on that and it should automatically add them to the bottom of your list of brushes so for, without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start making brushes so I'm gonna put that smoke there I'm gonna go down and grab another one so I wonder what this one's like just put that there start smoking around and I'll maybe put this one around here put that there so I think that's all for the green I want now I'm gonna go ahead and change to sort of a neon blue I'm gonna grab this one just splat that there might wanna splat some of this up here splat some down there and I'm gonna finally put another one over here and now I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna I don't know make sort of a neon purplish. You can use whatever colors you want, but I'm kind of feeling the neon colors today. So let me just grab that. Put the purple streak there. Sort of purple smoke there. But that one doesn't look good. So I'll put this right here. Need to fill up that spot there. So I'll just put this there. And then basically I have all the smoke that I want on my wallpaper. So I'm going to go down and I'm just going to create a new layer. I'm going to make some white. And I'm just going to select my text tool. And then I'm going to make some text. I'm just going to say PC Acro 11. I'm going to position it in the center. I'm just going to go to blending options. Give it a drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, and inner glow. And I'm going to make the stroke white and click OK. And then I have my wallpaper like that. So if I just go into the outer glow, I'll make the outer glow color same neon purplish. Make it glow out like that. And then I'm going to go up to file and save as. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG image. So. You don't really have to do the text effect, the text like I did there. You basically all you have to do is use the brushes to make the smoke effect in the background, and then you can just uh, do whatever you want with the rest of it. Like me, I have the smoke in the background, and then I have glowing neon text. Uh, if you guys want to watch a video on how to do the glowing neon text, uh, I made a video about that, and I'm going to post that video along with this video at the same time so uh, I think I'll post a link to it in the description maybe and if not it should be the video that I posted at the same time as this one so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one as my desktop background and it looks like that now I kinda actually like the old one better but you basically get the point I have all these smoky looking brushes strokes right here and then I have my text in the middle so anyway thanks a lot for watching guys it's been a quick video from PC Acro 11 I post all the links you need in the description so thanks a lot for watching again and I'll see ya